cannot stay a declaratory judgment. All we said is that, all that Justice C. Joma said was that there were no primary elections. And it stopped there. Rewind to Court of Appeal, Sokoto Division. I was there yesterday. And I handled the case for Senator Kabiru Marafa, Honorable Lawa Dauda, and about 180 others. In all, I represented 182 of the respondents. That is different from the appeal already filed by Senator Marafa, which I've already told you people is still on, pending, and extant, with a motion for a stay of execution already argued, and the ruling coming up tomorrow. At the Court of Appeal, Sokoto, Honorable Sani Jaji, the appellant, one of the appellants on his own right, he himself had also appealed separately from Senator Marafa. On the 11th of this month, he filed a notice of discontinuance of his appeal under Order 11 Rule 1 of the Court of Appeal Rules 2016. When the matter came up yesterday, Magaji S.A.N. for the Governor Yari Group wanted to move his motion, which he had filed on the 8th of February, asking the Court of Appeal, like they also unsuccessfully did in Abuja, to grant by way of interlocutory injunction certain orders to prevent INEC from refusing their group contesting the election coming up and to indeed compare INEC, to mandate INEC to put their names on the ballot papers and let them contest. That is the motion of Mangaji. All the documents are here, you can have them. Yesterday, when the case came up, the Court of Appeal was presided over. The Court of Appeal, Sokoto, was presided over by Justice Sanki. With her were Justice Anyangu and Justice Abiru. And I got up to say the only issue for determination today. It's not the issue of arguing a motion, even though we know that that motion is dead on arrival, because you are asking for inter inter interlocutory orders, which are the same orders you are asking when the final appeal is, is finally decide, uh, determined. That cannot even be done in law. But I told the Court of Appeal that this is not why we should be here today. The only issue for determination today is whether, in fact, there is an appeal at all upon which they based or they predicated their motion. For your information, the Governor Yari group had based this their motion to come of the Court of Appeal Rules. So I told the court that the question, therefore, is narrow. Is there an appeal at all existing upon which this motion to compare INEC is hinged or predicated. And the court agreed with me that that was the only issue to be determined. And therefore decided to take argument. The court took full argument from all counsel involved, including Diko SAN, Ishaka Diko SAN, who actually filed the notice of discontinuance on behalf of Honorable Sani Jaji, including Mangaji for the Governor Yari Group, my humble self for the Senator Marafa Group, and some other lawyers who represented INEC and some other parties. 
the court of appeal finally ruled. They rose and went to chambers and came back nearly one hour later to deliver a well-considered ruling. And they reviewed the entire circumstances of the case. They reviewed all the submission of counsel and all authorities cited and held that it was the right of an appellant who has filed an appeal to enter a notice of discontinuance under Order 11 Rule 1. And that the consequence of discontinuing is provided for in Order 11 Rule 5, which is that the appeal shall be dismissed automatically. They therefore distinguished it, I mean, uh, Rule 1 from Rules 2 and 4 which Mangaji S.A. had hinged their own argument. And that is the second limb where you need the agreement of your opponents or both parties to agree for the withdrawal of this matter. But this was a different case. And the Court of Appeal agree with me and Diko S.A. that Honorable Jaji could properly withdraw and discontinue his appeal and the appeal is hereby, was hereby dismissed. And that the consequence of that dismissal is that the motion itself filed by the Yari group mandating INEC to put them on the ballot paper, which was itself hinged on the appeal that has now been dismissed, has been overtaken by events, and that means it also uh, becomes dismissed by necessary corollary. This were, or this was, the ruling of the court. I was therefore taken aback when my clients sent me a letter written by the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation, which also went very based allegedly on a petition by M.A. Mahmoud, S.E.N. Co to defend that what the Court of Appeal ruled yesterday in Sokoto was that the Yari group could go ahead and contest the elections and that INEC should put their names on the ballot papers. With all respect, that is a lie from the pit of hell. As I've given the facts, there was never and ever. We also saw a letter by the leadership of APC also to INEC making the same misrepresentation that the Court of Appeal Sokoto had allegedly permitted them to contest. Based on these misrepresentations and suppression of material facts, the Honorable Attorney General, with all due respect, became ill-advised, and he wrote a letter to INEC telling them that they should now shift the election based allegedly on the decision of the Court of Appeal, which was wrongly interpreted. And they cited sections 38 and 39. These are sections that deal with primaries when they are taking place and the primaries could not take place on the appointed date. These are primaries that took place in October last year. And what those sessions are saying is that INEC can postpone the election in that area when they have not been able to quickly come up with a candidate. That is not the case here. APC is not saying they never came up with a candidate. Their case is actually that they came up with candidates. So that automatically removes them from the radar of sessions 38 and 39. They are saying, we presented candidates, we had candidates, these are the candidates. Session 38 envisages a situation where no candidates have been presented or there's a dispute about whether there were candidates or not. And based on that, the Marafa group 
won High Court Zamfara in favor of the Yari group. In the two matters, appeals are already pending, which are still pending as we are talking, both in Abuja and in Sokoto. And the Supreme Court made it clear in Ojuku against Governor of Lagos State that when parties have submitted their grievances to a court of law, they should allow the course of justice to take its natural course. So what the APC and the Honorable Attorney General are trying to do is to obtain through the back door what they have not been able to get through the front door. In other words, they are brazenly attempting to circumvent the litigation process in all the cases that are already going on in various courts in Nigeria. And you cannot do that. You cannot yet amiss by force of arms sidetrack the judicial process to get certain results when you are already on appeal and the other party is already on appeal. I therefore roundly reject the letter written by the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation to INEC, telling INEC to postpone this election. There is nothing to postpone. And there are many Supreme Court decisions that at the end of the day, if they fight this matter to the Supreme Court, and it is finally resolved that they ought to have been candidates, that the Yari group actually had its own candidate, or that it was the Marafa group that had its own candidate, the Supreme Court can make consequential orders, perhaps directing INEC to say, allow these people to contest the election. But INEC should not be browbeaten or intimidated or cajoled or blackmailed or harassed into agreeing to change its well-informed legal and constitutional positions on this matter. Consequently, the elections in Nigeria are going on on Saturday without candidates being fielded from Zamfara State. It was a self-immolatory step taken by the APC as a political party, what you call self or internal implosion. They should not allow that affect all the other political parties, over 70 of them, that are also contesting the elections, who have rolled out their preparations, who have paid their representatives, their agents, their coalition officers, who suddenly tell them to go home just because of one political party, because you are the ruling party, that will amount to short any candidates from either the Yari group or the Senator Marafa group. Let them first sort out themselves in the course of law and whatever outcome that the case, cases bring would be abided by. Thank you, gentlemen of the press.